All right, y'all, so um, in the garage, we're leaving. We are having a date night tonight. We're literally, literally hosting our own date night. Um, so we send out invitations to everybody and we're having a date night. So everybody's gonna meet us at the steak market and we're just gonna have a good time. Okay, y'all, look at Favor's outfit. Boom, look at Bless outfit. Let me see this. Boom. Y'all can't really see me because my mirror is dirty, but I look bomb. Just know that. Oh, it's an all black night. Let me show y'all Trent. Hold on. We in a garage. We finna leave. Look at my girl Trent. She got her red bottoms on. Boom. So I gotta show y'all my outfit because I look bomb. But I straighten my hair as you can see. Boom. Everybody has all black on because it's like an all black affair. It's so crazy. Like, Posting your own date night, telling everybody it's a black affair. So coming y'all black, y'all know how we do. But I'm excited, I'm really excited to eat because steak market is so good. Like we went there last year. It's really, really lamb good. Chops. What you excited for, Bless? Lamb chops. Bless talking about he excited for lamb chops because every time Chef comes, we always like had him cook lamb chops. So Bless tried lamb chops for the first time and he likes them. So I'm excited because I want to eat some lamb chops. And they have this really good salad. I know that's so weird yeah. to say, but the salad was the best salad I ever had in my life. It was definitely number one. I have a number two, but it was definitely number one. Like, I love Steak Market. Like, their food is so good. It was such a vibe. We had a good time when we went last year. So just know we're just going to have a great time. So let's go. They got in the car. Look at him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. Look at the table! 
but she ain't cut cakes and shit. It's crazy. Like, why? She grabbed Favor's cake. She took the cake out the table. She took the cake. Now look at her. Now look at her. <laughs> oh my goodness, is it good? No, she don't, she gonna hurt. Belly gonna hurt. Look at her. She like shit. Looking like the cake monster. Y'all playing games. All over her new dress. We didn't get to take no pictures. Oh, we got plenty of pictures. No, so, she was asleep. She was asleep. We didn't. We didn't get no pictures of her outfit for real. Well, she just wipe it off. We gotta. <laughs> we gotta wait in tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, but on the eighth. We gotta yeah. wait in to go tomorrow. You don't wear the same shit. I'm wearing the same. Shit. Look at her little socks, y'all. Look at her little socks. Look at her socks. Now I gotta take all this stuff off. Look! Hey, that's a All right, y'all. So I'm back home. My little baby is going to sleep. Let me tell y'all about my night. I'm gonna probably be talking real slow because I'm real tired. I'm like, it's two in the morning. So, literally, Sid told me that we were going on a date night. And he said that he was gonna invite a few people that had like there were couples um and i'm like okay cool that's gonna be fun let's do it um so i didn't got dressed i got cute and i'm like just thinking that we're going out to eat and he literally made a flyer for it and everything he said that we were gonna steak market and I love steak market. Like, I had steak market before, and I was like, yes, I can't wait. I literally had my mouth set on steak market. I couldn't wait to get there because I knew exactly what I was going to eat for my entree, my, um, well, my appetizer, my entree, and my dessert. I was ready for steak market. Y'all, so we're driving. First of all, he's driving really, really slow. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why is he driving so slow? But... I was like, I'm not going to say nothing because who knows. So then he was like, Bless was like, how long until we get there? And Sarah was like, oh, we're like two minutes away. I'm like, we're not two minutes away from Steak Market. We at least got like 10 more minutes to go. And then he just changed the subject. He just started partying in the car, dancing to the music. That was a red flag for me. I was like, hold on. Light bulb goes off. <laughs> So then he turned to go like down a different road, going a different direction. I was like, said, this is not the way to steak market. Where are you going? And he was like, oh, no, I got to make a stop real quick. I got to pick something up. And I'm like, okay, what do you got to pick up? And he just laughed, like laughed it off, but he didn't ever answer me. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. So he pulls up to this place and then I see... Rolando's car, which is LJ's boyfriend. I was like, why is Rolando here? His, that's his car, ain't it? And he ain't say nothing. He just was he just wasn't answering me. So we getting out the car. I'm like, okay, something's going on. But I still was confused. I still didn't know like what is going on. So anyway, I walk in, all these people got the lights, cameras, action all over me. And people was like, congratulations. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why are they saying congratulations? I was really confused. What are you congratulating me on? So I was just standing there like, I wanted to back up. Like, hold up. Wait a minute. Because <laughs> I was so confused. Like, why are they saying congratulations? Then I seen you say, brother, stand in. He was to the left of me, and he had, like, a bouquet of roses. And I'm like, okay, why is he holding roses? Like, I'm like, okay, they must be for me, because everybody's telling me congratulations. So like, but he didn't give me the roses, so I was like, I was just confused at that, too. So then said, grab my hand, he, like, walked me over to this big heart. Mind you, the heart had words on it. I never even looked at the words, never even read it. I could barely see, okay? Um... Anyway, he gets on one knee. I'm like, hold up. What you doing? <laughs> and he starts saying his speech, y'all. So basically, it turns out that he um, 
gave me a new ring. So the heart said, new ring, who this? And he basically reproposed because we're already married. I've had my ring for seven years now. And he knew that I wanted a new ring um, because the look of my ring seven years ago is just not my style anymore. Also, I've been through three different kids, so the ring is kind of tight on me now because I've gained some weight, so I'm not that skinny. So anyway, so I just, when he been knew that I wanted a new ring because we had talks about it, like, you know, we've talked about it, like, you know, just randomly throughout the years. But I'm very appreciative. I feel very loved. And it was just a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful memory. We had a great time. He really outdid himself. He went like crazy. Like all the stuff that he did and planned and I had no idea. Right, mom? No idea. Like everybody knew. I didn't know nothing. Everybody knew. People was coming over. I didn't see people for weeks. He's been planning this for months. Like when my mom was here, him and my mom was talking about it. He showed my mom the ring. I'm like, mom, so you knew? She like, girl, I been new. Everybody knew but me. I had no idea. But anyway, y'all, here go my ring. And it's so crazy because this is the exact ring that I wanted. Because this is just who I am. Like, I am a classy girl. I'm like, I just wanted something dainty and that look, you know, classic. Something that I could wear this 10 years from now. You know what I'm saying? My first ring that I had, it was my choice. I picked the ring out myself. It was my choice that was the ring that I wanted then. But I'm a new person. Like, you grow every day. You grow every year. You grow every month. Whatever. So, I was like, yeah, it's time to upgrade me. And that's what the fuck he did. And he snapped. Okay? He snapped. Like, everything was just drop dead gorgeous, y'all. I was crying. Because I, first of all, when I walked in, I was confused. I didn't know what was going on. And it wasn't until he got on one knee and I was just like, okay, well, why would you be proposing to me? But then he opened up the thing and I'm like, oh, it's a no ring. So, anyway, that was that. So that was my night. It was pretty epic. We had a great time. Everybody looked good felt good we ate good the food was amazing chef came through with the food it was amazing the decor y'all the decor it was stunning that was another thing like he he listens to the things that i say that i want because this this right here this is the exact ring that i wanted like the cut this is what i wanted this is exactly what i wanted then the decor at the party, I told him, like, when we were throwing um, Trinity's baby shower, Kim K had posted, like, um, this really beautiful, like, dining set table dinner. And it was all these drapes everywhere. But then the whole table was filled with um, candle lights. Like, it was so beautiful. I was like, what should you do for the baby shower? I was just so in love with it. I was like, but hers was tan. Tan is not my vibe. But I love black. You guys know I love black. So I was like, we should do this, but we should do it black. I was like, this will be so fucking fire. But Sam was like, nah, not for the baby shower. Like, candles. Nah, it's going to be kids there. We don't, want, we don't want, like, nothing to happen to where the candles fall over and then boom, now it's fire. Oh, my God, it's a fire. <laughs> it's a fire. It's a fire. So that was deep to me because we didn't do it for the baby shower, but... He did it this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole table was lit, lit up with candles. And that was my exact vis um, vision. I was like, I want it to look like this, but I want it black. So everything was black, white, and red. It was beautiful. I'm just... I don't even know what else to say. I'm lost words. Like, he pulled this whole thing off without me knowing. And he's been planning this for a long time. But I'm going to stop talking to y'all. And I'm about to stun on you hoes. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> this is a diamond tester. I just want to show you hoes. <laughs> that my man don't play by me. Yeah. Don't play with him. <laughs> don't play with him. Anyway. Period. That's it for the night. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, they end up leaving. They went to go get some um, Waffle House. Y'all, it's 2.30 in the morning. Like, I'm tired. I'm up and I'm tired at this point. Um, that's it. I ain't got nothing, nothing else to say. I just want to get on here and tell y'all that my night Love was you. lit. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> this is how girls be when they get it. When they... I'm like, like what? This. What did you say? Because, mm. no. Mm -mm. Everything's going to have to do with this hand. Just watch. You said what? Well, who? <laughs> if y'all was, was ever tired of me, you really going to be tired of me.